Hey everybody, uh, this is Natasha with Natasha Square Book Corner. I was working on uh, decorative tag and um, I'm using a um, couple techniques in here um, and I decided to go ahead and share it with you. Nothing new, uh, I'm sure a lot of you have seen and known this technique but maybe someone doesn't know and um, would like to take a look. So. Um, uh, this one is, um, if you will take a look, um, there is image on the back, like, you see, like under the stamps, there is the image. Um, and this technique calls um, emboss resist. Okay? So, I will show you how to do this um, emboss resist technique. So, you have your regular manila tag. And the first thing you're supposed to do, because you are going to be embossing image. So, um, you're going to need to use the um, static free. This I bought from Sparkle and Sprinkle. Static free pad. Um, what it does, um, when you rub it on the paper, it leaves kind of like a little powder on it. You can tap it. And then when you're going to stamp your image with the special Versa Mark um, stamp pad, uh, you are um, going to get really clear image. Uh, of what you're stamping rather than um, stuff around it, okay? And I had my um, stamps all spread already around, so, and it's matching my tag because I did previous one, yes. So, um, I'm going to apply this Versa mark. Um, pad, okay. Wipe somewhere if I can see the gloss in here. Around it. Shouldn't be a problem. Okay, and I'm gonna apply it right straight on my card. Sorry, I'm gonna need to line it up. Um, and I'm pressing it down. Am I in the frame? Thank God. <laughs> okay, I'm pressing in. And I'm going to let it fall off <laughs> this um, stamps. Yeah, here we go. Patience. None. <laughs> Okay, now, it's really hard to see, but I have um, the images there. Yeah, you cannot see. Anyway, I'm going to take my um, clear, transparent embossing powder and sprinkle it all over my tag. Um... For resist one, resist, uh, emboss, I'm sorry, emboss resist technique, you probably will be better off with the clear because you want your image to show through. Then you can uh, on top add any stamp color, you know, if you, you like. So usually that's what using. But you can, I mean, you can um, emboss with the uh, uh, color. Uh, embossing powder as well. It's up to you. I'm just tapping excess of embossing powder and usually you do this. You you click. That calls tap. Tap, tap, tap. So you tap it excess. And really you cannot tell. Maybe you will. But here it is. It's I can clearly see my images there 
and I know they're full of powder. Therefore, we're gonna heat it, heat it up. Um, I would suggest to use something heat resist to hold on your tag and work on their protective service, which is the uh, special heating mat. Okay, here we go. It's gonna get noisy. With this heat gun, you want to move around. With the Team Holtz gun, uh, you're pretty much safe. But this old style heating tool, uh, heating gun, it, you need to move it around. Oh, well, actually, you need to move it around everywhere, but still, you know, that's the tip uh, for you. Um, and I can see my images turning glossy. That means they're cooked, which means done. Um, so that heat uh, melted the embossing powder in there. Okay. So um, let me put back my powder, which I didn't do because I wanted to heat set it. So you can use the piece of paper or you can use the, um, what is it, coffee filter for doing uh, this stuff with embossing. That's all good. All right. Now um, there is another side to this technique. It's not done. And um, I'm not sure if you can see, I have here three, now can you, okay, here we go. Um, I have three distress inks in here and I'm gonna blend them. The distress inks are famous um, for their blending. Um, it's a special solution. You need to watch some of Tim Holtz tutorials and he will explain to you the chemistry behind it. But um, um, the most amazing part of uh, Distress Inks, they blend so good. So um, right here I'm using the um, brushed corduroy and um, I'm applying it on the tag okay over the image and you can see the resist starting to show up this whatever image I stamped um, shows up so um, I don't have extra Tim Holtz tools, so therefore I'm switching the um, foam mats for, for pads for, for it. And I'm blending in right now the antique linen. It's better to start off the mat, otherwise you're gonna have this rectangular shape on your tag, which we don't want. So, again, I'm doing this. I'm switching pad to the um, fire brick. And I'm gonna finish the tag with that color. And here, on the bottom. intense on that corner and um, for right now you can see um, this color this blends into linen and this kind of like stands out and you can see really um, uh, embossed um, images there but I want to blend them therefore you go backwards again you you go on with this antique linen and you're going over the middle part where you did apply it 
and you're working your way slowly into the um, red one. That way you blend in it. So now you see the uh, edge is much softer. Okay. And it's not enough of uh, other color to uh, bring uh, damage, get, uh, do damage to the ink pad itself. And I'm switching to the brushed uh, corduroy. Corduroy. <laughs> uh, pardon my French. Anyway, and um, I'm just distressing edges. Um, it makes when you when you sharpen the edge of the tag or image, it gives that sharp look to it. Okay, so. Here's a little technique on blending um, distress ink um, colors as well. Okay. And um, now I'm going to stamp. I'm going to stamp this image, which is um, um, graphic. Um, I think, no, it's seven gypsies, I do believe. Yeah, it is seven gypsies. So I am doing this. Got my mat, stamping mat. Any mat will work. Any cushion, you know, will work. Even your mouse pad from the computer will work perfectly. Not, not a problem. Okay, I have my my stamps already mounted, and I'm using the stays on. That way, if there would be a color, you know, I don't mind if background will melt or leak or whatever. If the water will get a hold of it, but I don't want my image. Um, melt away so therefore I'm using stay zone and um, I'm gonna apply it right here center down Am I in frame? Yes, I am. Wonderful. Okay, so I have my first image. In here. Looks very vintage like that. And the second layer of the image would be I'm going to stamp this butterfly. I'm going to stamp this bird. I ran out of. I'm using all stamping bricks right now, acrylic bricks. I have maybe five, um, six, and um, I'm gonna stamp it a little bit off of the tag, but I have the paper behind it, so therefore it doesn't make any difference. So if you'll see, if you have the paper underneath it, you have a full image, but the other way you have just part of the image that's how you go on off the page i would say and now i'm gonna ink again i'm using the stays on brown because this tag is more vintage and i want to put this bird right on the bird cage so i'm gonna bring it as close as possible And press and release. So I have this tape on in here. Um, and don't think that the stays on is permanent. <laughs> you do have chemicals um, that will remove it. 
Okay? So here it is. Full stamped. Okay? And if you think that's it, no, that's not. That's not it with techniques. Um, if you will flip it, I have this gorgeous uh, vintage dress form. And uh, this dress form actually came from the um, clean stamp set. Like this, very vintage, okay? So, this is very simple. It's just embossing just embossing with the gold I'm using the sorry gold uh, tinsel embossing powder and again you're gonna use for embossing you're gonna use your Versamark and what you do you oh 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 yeah do not forget to um, use your static free baggie seriously um, I have been familiar with embossing, I don't know, five or six years, and I never used it, and I'm wearing you that it's all worth it, seriously, it's uh, such a handy tool to have if you are embossing a lot. So I applied my Versamark on the stamp and I'm gonna stamp it on a card or a tag or whichever you are stamping on. And I'm gonna press. You see with this one I'm not even using the acrylic block because the um, rubber stamp is that thick it's really good thick rubber stamp so it holds the form it's not bad it doesn't bend okay and now I am gonna use my piece of paper again and I'm gonna apply my embossing am I in frame yes I am <laughs> um, better to check don't be sorry and redo it all over again and I'm applying the embossing powder. Do not worry about excess. You better uh, cover it, you know, all and more. Um, you can collect it all back in your jar. Um, and then miss the spots on your image. So you're gonna tap it off. Then you gently tapping it off. And I still have an excess on the side, so I'm gonna use my tap tap. Oopsie, tap tap. Yes, I did mess up the image, but that's okay. I, um, it is distressed. Now I can move it out of the way and get my heat gun and get my scissors or any metal tool that you can hold it and here we go it's gonna get noisy again and you probably will be able to see on that color how it's turning the color because this one is pretty good one the gold uh, and you can see when it starts, here we go, the wing starts melt, the other wing, the center of the dress form, and we're going down, 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 it's all turning gold. And it's done. Alright. So, uh -uh. because I had this, um, um, embossed on the back so sometimes it does that it melts a little bit of image but that's okay it's still all intact it's still all good and um, tapping the excess of your powder in your jar 
back in your jar. Um, why? Because sometimes accidents happen and uh, you can wind up with a powder all over your table. So therefore it's safer and smarter on your part to avoid this situation and prevent them to clean up it later. And I'm going to finish it with a brushed um, corduroy again. And I'm going to distress the edges. And again, I'm starting on the mat and I'm coming into the tag on the edge. Um, that way I'm trying to avoid this rectangular uh, pad um, stamp on my tag. Trust me, you will have it and for some reason it's really hard to get rid of even with the Distress inks uh, blending so good. That sharp edge, um, I don't know, it's just stain in there. So be careful, try to be careful with that when you're applying your ink. Okay. All right, so that's it. Um, that's it for the um, techniques. Uh, so um, let me um, uh, talk to you again. Let me flip this one so you could see the back and, and front. So we did um, emboss resist technique with a clear with a clear um, embossing powder and Versamark. Um, we um, stamped we stamped the uh, um, image on top with the stays on. We use the uh, our pad, right? Before we emboss. We um, used our blending tool uh, and uh, whatever your favorite distress inks are, whatever colors you want to achieve, who you want to have on your project, we I showed you the blending technique on that, how to blend distress colors. And on the back of the tag, we uh, use the gold embossing um, stamp, um, just regular embossing, and um, working the edge with the distress ink. I guess that, that's it. It's that you have uh, like about four techniques here in this tag. I hope you like it and uh, I hope you find it helpful for someone out there for sure. Um, thanks for watching and talk to you later. Bye.